thousands of hit and run crashes happen every year on Tulsa roads. Tonight we're going to show you the most dangerous intersections for them. Channel 8's investigative reporter Maureen Wartz brings us the story of one victim lucky to be alive. Wartz is a fatality at the accident. This isn't how either Jason or Brandy pictured their relationship. It's pretty exciting you're getting lunch. Yeah. <laughs> Hmm. Mashed potatoes. <laughs> Medium rare steak. No, I'm just kidding. A couple times a day, Brandy has to make sure Jason eats. All, all use of this right hand I have is just a hand. <laughs> Up until June 8th, these two looked like this. Because it happened, I was at least by myself, and she wasn't with me. It doesn't look good for the driver of the motorcycle. No. He's in critical condition. That's all I could say at this time. We're working at a potential fatality. That's when Jason was riding his bike and was hit by a driver making what police called an illegal U-turn. I mean, it was that it was just hard not to hear his voice. And to, I mean, when he walked in like that, when they rolled him in and I looked, I was like, that's not him. It just didn't look like him. His arm was pulled out of its socket. His ligaments were ripped, his jaw split and went upward just shy of taking out his eyes. I was hit by someone that had no insurance, revoked driver's license, and fled the scene of the accident. Last year, there were more than 3,000 hit and runs in Tulsa. It's a big problem in the state of Oklahoma. And Oklahoma Insurance Commissioner John Doak says there is a direct link to the fact that one in four Oklahoma drivers are uninsured. 71st and Mingo, 41st and Garnett, 51st and Peoria. These three intersections are ground zero for hit and runs in Tulsa. Folks believe that they can drive without insurance and they can get away with it for a very, very long time. They believe that they're saving money uh, by not paying insurance but driving on the road. But Doak says insured drivers are picking up the bill, whether it's on a monthly premium or a hit and run. The accident report states it was 0% my fault. Jason was given a small chance of surviving. He was in a medically induced coma for a week. At one point, the uh, nurses asked, asked her to, if she wanted to lay beside me. And, and to see that picture, her hold me. It's amazing. Since leaving the hospital, Jason says he now faces a $200,000 medical bill. And that doesn't include the cost of any surgeries he had or will need. Or worse, it could have killed me. And people that love me had to put me in the ground. So, sorry. I'm, try I'm trying to stay focused on the positive things, which helps me every day. Jason takes it one day at a time and looks forward to tomorrow because he knows it'll be filled with healing and love. We use life. Life and love. Maureen Wirtz, Tulsa's Channel 8. Maureen, thank you. The man who hit Jason is due in court next Friday. State lawmakers passed a bill this year to encourage drivers to get insurance. If you're pulled over without it, police can take your tag and give you 10 working days to get insurance and get it back. Officials say the only way you can protect yourself from uninsured drivers, make sure you have uninsured and collision coverage on your policy.